Okay, we are live. Two minutes earlier, but we are. Let's see it updating here. Yes, it is. Cool, I have the chat view. Let's see how many people we have. Ten. Cool. Good start. Me again disturbing your weekend. Okay, so let's create new project. Let me hide my face or maybe make it smaller and then I can do the rest. I'm small now. Cool. Let's create a project. And where should I save it? By the way, I held shift and clicked on this icon to open um, Windows Save Project window directly. Let me copy this name. And I will be quickly going through what I have prepared so far. I don't want to bore you too much with the stuff that you know already or it's not related to Spine. So I gathered a lot of VFX from my library. I'm using RTFX here. You can see them all. Uh, not everyone I'm going to use. rays, smoke or dust, some impact sparkles, I don't know, some effects. And I have, I think I, I have this one, let me name it magic circle, I don't need this. Okay, I have the hammer, Mjolnir, I have a rocks. Some basic stuff and all this yeah that's cool cool so let's build the um, project um, let me make me bigger once again so I can show you with my hands the basically what we are going to do so one ray opens from top to bottom will be flowing from upside to down it's, it's gonna be like teleportation that is going this is opening from Asgard or and after that is opened that Mjolnir will be falling very quickly and I think the impact will be without bounces because it's magically super heavy and yeah, that falls, some circle appears underground, magical circle, a little bit in perspective, this way, like this. Some circle will open and it will start spinning, or maybe it will open already spinning. So it's going to spin in perspective. And yeah, that will spin, we will have some impact, and after that, maybe, or in parallel to that, we will have some sparkles of electricity coming from the uh, hammer and into the, uh, the circle. So it's, it's gonna do like sharp electric rays uh, and I will avoid to make like lightning. It's gonna be just electricity, so powerful. And yeah, that's gonna cover, I think, everything. And maybe nice magical glowing of the hammer. So that's going to be it. Ray appears, uh, hammer hits ground with explosion. Uh, some rocks are falling here and there, some sparkles and magic ring appears and it starts to um, powering, like charging electricity from the ground to the hammer. Cool. Now let's get smaller. to become smaller, cool, no. 
Uh, first, yeah, I think I didn't save it. I should. I think we have a problem here. Let's save the spine file. It's happening to me several times already that I'm saving it, but it ends up not being saved. So I'm missing something. Okay, we have those uh, files available here once we save it. Let me get back to the spine. So. So we will have all uh, available here. First thing I will work with the ray from the sky. And after that, I will try to um, find the balance and timing between uh, opening ray and um, hammer appearing and falling from the ground. So that's going to be uh, the first challenge for me. Cool. Let's find that lines. Yeah, this one will be the rays. I think I will use them. Let's rotate them. And let me see what direction they are flowing actually. Well, you know what? I will turn it back to uh, rotate it back anyway. Cool. So first, uh, I, I can go and add all images here and do my uh, ray stuff and animate it. But instead, I want to give it a mesh make it a mesh and uh, to be able to modify so it's uh, first it will be just one a very narrow and bright uh, ray and it just expands and makes it wider and less uh, noticeable okay so for that i may convert it to, to mesh note that i'm working with one and first frame so i convert it to mesh i can generate I think up until we have three lines in, in, uh, in the middle. And after that, I can go hit new and um, click linked mesh. This linked mesh appears in the 4.0 version. If you are using older version, it should be somewhere here, the button. They moved it inside the new. Okay, after that, we have linked mesh. Uh, this mesh copies all the positions of the original mesh. The icons are different and the settings also are different. You can see here. So this one doesn't have edit button and it directly shows what mesh it looks for. And when we click this button, it will just convert it to normal mesh and edit button will be available again but it's no more connected to the other mesh. Okay, let's convert it back to linked mesh. And now you can see that when we created linked mesh, it uh, incremented the name. And since we have names one, two, three, four in the folder here, it's very convenient for us. So this directly will be looking to the this file and duplicating them up until to 25 frames. Will basically do the same stuff as they 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 will be reading from this folder and so it's it's very convenient for us. But to do that completely, we will need hello, hyper. Thank you, Boris. I will save this. Okay, so. The last thing that uh, we want to it make work to actually read from the name, because when we created linked mesh, it generated that name, incremented, it made it to, but it still you know, kept the path here. So it reads from the one, which we don't have in original. So when we duplicate or create linked mesh, it just saves the path of the origin. So we need to remove that. When once we remove it, we can select it all, and once we remove it, it will read the, uh, the path from the name. So this is what we want. I go into more details. Sorry, I'm trying to be as clear for uh, newcomers. Cool. So now you can see that uh, whenever we modify, I'm using mesh tools to enable soft selection. That will enable a brush with soft select, you can see. 
So whenever we modify, let me actually create the frames. Let's check it. And I will do the last frame and come back to key the first frame after the last frame. So now we can test it. Okay, it goes upside. We, we need to rotate it. Um, let's see what direction we should. One seventeen should work. Yeah. Now it moves down, and as I said, when I rotate it, for example, this way, it will flow this way. So what I want to do now, I will select the root, uh, create a bone here, and right away create another bone. So this will be a container. And this will be the scaling stuff. So now let's bound, bind this. Let me disable soft selection and select this. Yeah. And go and give it a. Maybe we should do the opposite way. Yeah, I think we should do the opposite way. So this will have full value, this will have half value, same for this. And this doesn't matter because anyway they are on the same row so they are not going to be affected much. Um, did they get what I wanted? No. I think I, I did it incorrectly. Let's give it back to this and start from scratch. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, it's pretty much um, what I was expecting. Let's enable wireframe so we can see how it actually scales. I will go and add more to this point. happening here we save those under control one and now scale I think it didn't worth the uh, time I spent it. I wanted some kind of cylindrical scaling. Um, but but honestly, it, it doesn't satisfy me. So. so we can just go and disable even this mesh. But I will do it later. So for now, let's, let's leave it this way. And maybe later I will just disable the meshes here. Okay, so first, let's remove this. Let's put it on the ground. Um, 
let's also bring the ring and hammer so we can see the scaling of the of the stuff so this will be our hammer and where is the circle and this will be the circle so yeah let's let's now work out with the rays no we don't need hammer inside of the bone Okay. Yes, I think we are close. It's a little bit round, which I don't like, but I will leave it here. It's uh, the idea is not to make it perfect, ready to production. But you get the idea. I work with what I have right now and yes let's assume it opens from narrow to wide so it's gonna be narrow here let's move it a little bit here and it will basically open here to full scale which would be one And let's actually drop it from the sky. Not this one. So it drops while it's narrow. And then it starts to expand. Okay, so here we will, I will hit Control Shift J, which is my, let me enable my pop-up, hotkey pop-ups. Cool, so I will hit Control Shift J and um, yeah, it will put a key from the setup pose, which would be our pose from here. So it falls once as uh, it is narrow and after that it expands and we will leave it uh, as it is right now maybe after that we will just give it a little bit less visibility after it widens up Uh, answering on hyper's questions no i just do it manually by clicking uh, hotkeys r and f yeah f yeah they are going back and forth one frame so i go back forth and hit the key button uh, dot here so basically there there is no quick way you can find some tool that would do Kind of stuff but um, you know I want to go with the spine right now cool okay so it it comes here maybe we can give it a little more time and after that we can open it uh, you know what let's actually reduce the opacity right now And let me try to convert it to additive. So we get uh, maybe less that yellow stuff. Okay, so let's leave it here. I will come and improve this. Maybe I will add the same uh, ray and duplicate it so they work together. Now let's um, drop the hammer. 
So portal opens. And we can start dropping it from the 8th frame. Let's move it back. Let's actually create a bone for it. Where is our hammer? Where is it? I will select the create tool, this one. And hold control. Select the images. Right now I will select on this one. And I would go and add the bone here, I think. I don't know, should I drop it like straight away this way or maybe as it was originally designed, um, a little bit rotated. So for now I will do straight, but if you think it's cool when it's rotated a little bit as this, so it's going to fold this way. Let me know, I will, I will turn it back. Okay, let's move it up. Where we don't see it, I think two frames or maybe three would be total enough. And Control Shift J it brings back original pose. Hello, Suman. I'm trying to uh, spell your name. Don't know if I'm doing it right. Okay, we don't need to see the hammer. Cool. Uh, we, we need to work with the curves. Let's do it right now because it's very important curve here. So it's falling with acceleration. And yeah, let's see what we are doing. So basically we will need to hit this preset here that starts slowly we don't see that this portion obviously so it starts slowly so we see how it from 9 frame it gets accelerated up until it hits the ground and it stops abruptly back to top sheet Damp. do we see how it falls i don't see which is not good these rays are confusing us. Maybe we can drop it with this ray and it will be much more visible. Yeah, I think that would work better. Uh, initially, I wanted to when a portal opens, obviously, but. Um, I will need to create another race to, to show that there is a hammer falling while portal is opened. So let's also delay, maybe change the color of the hammer. I will enable tint black to be able to add more colors. And let's give it a nice bright blue color. Is it nice? Make it nice. Yes, this is nice. So it's not nice, obviously, it's too bright, but we need to do something that it is to show that it is visible. Let's, let's try and make it yellow. I don't know. And I'm going to do the same. A curve here or sh I shouldn't I don't know so maybe we need to put this hammer on the tip of that ray like it's riding it yeah this way we we have more visibility to the hammer so it's much correct I think and let's see if we have they yeah they they're basically the same let's go and match the curves here so if i move this point they will go and match the y axis so they will move but i don't need to do that instead maybe i i need to move it a little bit lower 
And let's go frame by frame and see. So I think I need um, lines to go a little bit lower here. Yeah. Maybe not here, but here. Okay. So hammer falls, breaks opening. Uh, 25 minutes, it's too long. I was expecting to do it much quicker. Okay, let's let's go quicker quickly. So let's do this ring. I will put it in inside a bone and I will add another bone that will contain this image and we'll call it rotator. I don't know, or rotor, whatever want you want to call it. So this will be the one who rotates. Let me move it here so I can center it properly. I will use hotkeys to enable compensations of images and move it somewhere that rotation looks nice. Cool. And let's move it here. Also move it here. Okay, so now I'm going to scale the parent bone this way. Uh, it doesn't match the perspective of the hammer, but but we do what we have. Okay, so. I think it's enough. We can come back and do fix it later. Cool. So now I will need to rotate this. For that, I will select the local world, uh, uh, space, local space here. So in that space, when we rotate it, we can give uh, more values than 360. So for example, if I give, uh, I mark it here. And let's assume, let's assume 25 frames. Okay, and let's give it uh, one cycle here. Let's see what it does. It's too fast. What about here? Maybe it's too attractive. What about here? Yeah, I think it's fine. Anyway, we are going to put a lot of animations up until 100 frames. So. Let's assume our animation workspace is 100 frames. And it's slow, it, it doesn't seem too much off because when it's quick, I can see that it's a little bit off, so it doesn't. But when we make it slower, we don't notice it too much. So I don't have to go and fix it. Cool, let's duplicate those rays. So we have hammer falling. We need its color going back to normal after impact. Cool. Let's move it back to normal. I will hit Control Shift J. And actually, I would expect also this blue button uh, key appearing here. Dragon City. I thought it's in, it's done in the spine, no? Or they they want to do it in spine. Dragon City is the same social point as right. Okay, it's going back. Portal is open, but now we see too much of this portal. I I don't know how to reduce it, but it's too attractive. So let's. So it opens very bright here and goes back to maybe not noticeable. Yeah, I think I don't like it. It's it's not uh, 
looking good when it's not noticeable. Okay, but I th I hope we can bring back and attract with the hammer. So, okay, we have this. Um, let's select the root K and re reduce it the size. So it hits here and would open Control Shift J would open the circle. Let's make it quicker. So contact is here. Okay, let's fix the curve. Um, we need to slowing down this, so I will hit this one. And why we have this? Yeah, now it's it. I was selecting only one of them. Cool. So it slows down. I'm going fast so we don't spend too much time here later if I had more time, which I will not, I will come and fix the time the timing. Because right now cool. Let me see it again. And maybe I will go and change the colors of everything. I don't want to do everything in blue, so I want to add uh, yellow and blue colors. But right now this portal doesn't look good. So it just works fine, It, uh, but it's not looking good. Okay, let's introduce the impact. For that, I will start from the um, articles. Yeah, this, this is going to be fast because nothing to explain here, I think. I drag them here, um, set to the same coordinates, deselect the first frame and drag everything inside the first slot. Remove the others, select that slot and maybe don't select that slot, just di uh, directly go and create a bone. Maybe I would go and select one frame that is more descriptive so I can add a bone properly. So it starts here. Cool. It doesn't start there. Okay, let's see what we have. We don't need it right now. Okay, we have impact here. So let's move it here. Boom. And let's start actually adding those particles. Those are not, not going to be looped, so I will disable them. Where are they? Why can't I see it? I have no idea why I'm not seeing them. Oh, now I see. Did I disable the slot? No. No, I think it was a bug or... Cool. Uh, let me redraw the bone. I did it incorrectly. And move it back here the bone. scale it boom so the last frame I would extend the frame where it disappears so we will leave it there for a moment while we also fade it out. So it's fully visible and the moment it 
it has to it all landed we will just fade it out here cool once we have it ready we can duplicate it for the other side let's flip it put it here and maybe give one frame delay so we get randomness Oh, okay, questions, no questions. We have 26 viewers. Stream will be saved. So if you have stuff planned on this weekend, go ahead. I'm looking at a little preview window. Where is my face located? To see better what I missed there and yeah, let's leave it for now. Remember, I'm moving quickly. I spent too much time on the race. Cool. Sparks. What are the sparks? Yeah, we need those. Again, I'm dragging all of them because I don't want to mesh them. I'm just want, I just want to use them as they are. Please select first frame, drag them all here. Delete empty slots. Select the root create from let's see the maximum frame oh god it's upside down let's fix it Let's select the maximum frame. Let's scale it. You can see it, it gets blurry. And it has some orange stuff, which we can avoid by just enabling additive blending. So now we don't see that much blur and orange is much more burned. Anyway, this effect is going to last six frames. So. Let's do the impact. We don't see it now. Hammer is here, boom. And let's animate those. We can even go and add those sparks a little bit delay. So first we see it and after that we see sparks, particles appear. We can even scale those, you know. I'm looking at the little window, so. Yes, uh, we have a problem here because those particles are falling on the line. Here you can see, while well, we have all, uh, obviously uh, specified the ground perspective, so this doesn't work right now for us. Maybe later I will remove them or replace them. But you get the idea, so it's, it's about to find or draw correct particles. And yeah, so avoid uh, confusing people with different perspective. <coughs> Okay, we have another impact. Um, we don't need this. I don't need what it is. I don't know. So, okay, let's add smoke. Same way. Oh, smokes is much higher quality. Okay, we, um, I will optimize them later. So at the end of the stream, I will go and export this as JSON and see how our pack is looking, the Atlas is looking. So do we need to optimize and how, if I have time, how I will optimize it. 
but as I said, I will not have time because I'm working slowly here. Let's move it here. Let's animate it. Again, I don't see. I think this is a bug. So I, I, I have the slot visible here, but I don't see the frames. I don't have any timeline marked uh, filtered here. Uh, I will cut this portion and send to Nate, I think. So yeah, this appeared in 4.017 version. But the moment I disable and enable it, it will appear here. Cool. Uh, you can see I added a little bit blur effect because originally it was very sharp and cartoony. And maybe we can make it transparent. And let's move it a little bit further on the timeline. I think it's enough here. Cool. Now I will duplicate it, clip it, and move it here. Let's offset one frame. Mm -hmm. Maybe give it a little bit different size. And we can go and duplicate both of them. Uh, move it back. I'm moving this way because I'm in the local space. So they all go to the to their left. Okay, now I can change it back. Let's resize it. And change their color. Let's make them a little bit darker. Let's see it in animation. So the idea is to use as much as possible the asset that you already used. So instead of using big smoke here, you can go and use the only one side a little bit, duplicate it. So if I went and used this kind of big smoke, it would create much more uh, frames, uh, images in the pack. And I would not be able to dynamically put and adjust and whatever, and even layer it inside, because now I can go and uh, send those slots back. Okay, I think it's enough. No, it's not. Where is it? Moving back of Mjolnir. Where is it? Mjolnir. Cool. Now let's uh, exaggerate the colors. Make it much darker. Maybe transparent. And maybe close the visits. And one frame delay, so it gives some kind of variety. We can go and add another set in front, 
but it will do too much smoke, I think. Okay, what comes next for the impact? Particles, lines, impact, what is this? Yeah, I think we quickly can add this to, oh, it's too big. I will definitely go and reduce its size, but it's too much, I think, you know. Let me quickly try it. Uh, I don't want to make it super rich, so everything is inside this project. Cool. Again, I don't see it. So we don't have filters here enabled. But the moment I disable and enable and deselect, okay, now I'm confused. Am I missing something? Okay, now I moved it and it appeared. Okay, I think if we don't have keys other than attachment, it, it won't show up. But after we, it, we make it show, it will stay. I will try it in the next effect. I think we don't need this first frame, so let's just remove it. And turn additive blending. I love that very much. Uh, yeah, I, I think I love, at least I will keep these two maybe frames. Oh no, I will leave everything. So, boom, boom, cool. Um, maybe we... Let it cool down a little bit, slow. Um, is it okay i think we we are done with the impact or we are not yeah we can go and add a few rocks let me see if it's quickly, I will do it. If it's not, maybe I will just drop it. Move it to the root, select the root, select it and add a bone for it. it resize. So this bone will be just bouncing top, top, top here, or maybe one bounce, I don't know. Cool. Uh, I think it will start here. I will separate um, transfer translate timeline, which will create two timelines for X and Y. And well, I will move the X here while I can go and add some up and down. for y-axis.
we can go and use uh, no we can't we need to so we can go and use this one now so let's copy this so in this frame it's grounded grounded here grounded here Found it here and here as this is last point so we can put it on 11 frame and um, just move this slider and make sure you are not selected any keys okay I, I see what it does it it doesn't know where it, it goes to this frame or this frame so let's let's find out what would be this in this case what we could use we don't need setup well it, it can work actually but it's it's not a good option we let's see yeah default works i don't know what does default maybe it just moves uh, left and right okay i think we need to make it a little bit higher here and let's do the curves so let's make this so basically i will hold uh, alt key i think we have um we have a preset for this let me oh uh, this one yeah but not this way why why this way let me try worth basis okay i think i don't need to select all of them i need only to select the ground ones let's try this yeah this is exactly what i want so we need slowing down up uh, uh, at the top po positions yes slow vfx i do use RTFX. I think they are awesome. And if you be careful on YouTube, you can see a lot of people are using on their channels and everywhere, even the advertisement on Facebook, like they are advertising some games. A lot of advertisement that explosions and stuff are using RTFX. So they are very popular. Now let's see what we have with the rock. We are working with this one. So it constantly moves on X axis, but it uh, actually does this curve. Uh, but since it contacts the ground and there is a friction, we, we can go and slow down on X axis. And obviously if we want to be too correct, it, at the end it will roll and it only slows down when it contacts the ground so but uh, let's now not concentrate on doing it properly but look at the picture the bigger scale so this is just a rock boom 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 And maybe now we can just resize the timeline. I don't like its motion. No, I think I need to remove this easing from the x-axis. It creates problems.
you know, maybe I can go and just slow down at the end of X axis. Let's assume we have a key here. And just move it here. Anyway, I don't like it, but again, I don't want to go into much details here. Um, I want to look at the bigger picture. So, but you get the idea, you can go and fix it with the curves. It's, it's all you need to do it. And let's just take that here, move it down here. I'm holding shift to move it in between frames. And after it, it uh, lands, after a few frames, we can just hide it. So it's, it's not important uh, stuff here. So we need to hide it because at this moment we will be working with the uh, hammer. Okay, let me duplicate this and maybe flip and see, uh, you know, I will also change the image. That's not a big difference, but so I will just need to move it this way. This way, let's separate this way. And maybe we can just rotate. Again, you need to be much more uh, accurate here because it will uh, rotate differently when it contacts the ground. So I'm just doing it quickly. Also, add rotation here. And let's add another one and I think we'll be fine. Change the image. I think we can give it a delay. And we also can give delay here. Okay, and make this one move further. Let's assume here. And also it, it, uh, it's, it will translate further. Maybe we also want it to move down, but for that we will need to come and fix the curves. So basically what you want to do is to move each grounding point A little bit down. I don't know if that's gonna work or not, but I suppose it, it has to work this way. Let's see, let's exaggerate the effect. Let's see. Let's 
yeah it's gonna work but we need also to fix the top sections Okay. Well, it's working now, but it doesn't look good. And it does snap to some point and I remember there was some hotkey to enable, uh, disable the uh, snapping. Uh, let's see if we can find snapping here and maybe it has hint on it. This is the snapping. But it's different I think. So I think it snaps to other frames here. Or no, no, it doesn't snap. It just snaps to original. Let's see. So basically, yeah, this is the way you work with the curves. Uh, I'm answering on the questions, children. I don't know what is smart, smart TV, small TV productions, but Spine is can offer very optimized workflow so you just need to understand which one works best for you don't use meshes don't use constraints so you if you use just basic bones it, it's gonna be very cheap for any device i think okay let's see how far we are one hour i wanted to do it in an hour but it seems we will be doing it in two hours okay so I will hide those here. And also hide this guy. And show it here. Same would be with the rocks. The moment they appear, I need to show them. And yeah, I think the rocks are fine now. Uh, they are not good. I don't like them. But you get the idea. So this one is a bit closer. And this one. I think something is wrong with this curve. You know what, we can just can go and remove that one.
Oh god, this takes too much time from me. And I really don't like it. Don't know what to do. Okay, I'm just gonna delete it. It doesn't work. Uh, I spend it here. Two rocks is not enough. I would go with three, I think. But let's let's remove it. It takes too much time here. Okay. So what we have? Uh, let's let's uh, start with the glare, and later we will finish it with the uh, like lighting, no, not lighting, but electricity effect. So for now, I will add um, wings. We don't need wings. Race, what are those? Oh, we don't need those. Where is it? Glare here. So I'm going to drag one frame. And it's going to be this one. I will convert it to mesh. And no. Let's see if this works. So for now, I will just try it. Let's hide all bones. And try to match it on the hammer. Mjolnir. Resize it. No, it's not going to work. Let's add more stuff here. What about now? Let's try to match it. Okay, let's see if this works. Now when I, I have it meshed, I will change the name to one so it increments properly. Uh, you know that with the first frame, I wouldn't be able to understand how to do it correctly. So I selected one pick frame and started to mesh that one. Now I will just create linked mesh. This will generate a path which we don't need. But right now I will just duplicate that until we receive the last, which would be the 12th count. Let's select them all and delete the path. Okay, now let's add this into the Yonir itself. Where is it? Where is it? I didn't name it, so I will not find it easily. Rotor. Oh, there is it. Okay. Let's try it. Yes. And let's change it to additive. And see. So. It will be disabled at first, it falls down and here when the glow of yellow glow um, fades out, we can start to animate that one. Uh, 
and this is not a loop so we will basically just close it and at the peak I would also go and change the color of the whole hammer make it brighter and bluish and bring it back oh it's too bright why why what did I do here I think we have something wrong with the curves do we God, why is it so bright here? Oh, it should not. No, I have no idea why it's so bright, so I will go and uh, just do the frame. I really don't understand. So here it's... It, here. It will be the brightest point. Okay, we added the glare. And now we are ready to work with the uh, sparks. After that, I will decide if we we go further. Where do we have sparks? Burst. What is this? We don't need this. I think we don't have it here. So. I will grab it in a moment. Yes, I have them. I will change the colors. I took them from my previous project, so they are yellow. For that, I will bring them here and change the color to blue. Yeah, this blue works fine. And save it with Alt Control U. I will bring the same settings for the other ones. Let's go back to spine. Okay. What's next? So we, we do basically the same with as we did with uh, other linked mesh. I to link mesh I generate it's enough and I create linked mesh I duplicate it I think six right yes six. I delete all the path so it generates from the name let's add this in one bone mm. Let's let's this time try to do three bones. I would normally go with two bones. Okay, I'm binding. Uh, looks fine. Uh, answering to the low VFX yes obviously I thought it about a lot and even if I didn't a lot of people suggesting me that 
but honestly, I don't see me as good instructor. Uh, I don't have experience with that. I just open my mind and it flows this way. So I'm, I'm not sure about my teaching skills. Oh, and I don't want to earn money when I teach. Okay. But you know what, on this topic, I was thinking about opening one a small group. Um, so where I can just give uh, some tasks and watch people do them and give feedback to them. So I would just it's 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 gonna be like course but free and where I, I can be sure that you know that I don't have teaching skills so we, we would gather some six or ten people I would give tasks at the conference on zoom or whatever so we will meet each other at the same place we'll give the task and next time on the same hour we will connect and I will just go and fix uh, and tell the feedback. So I was thinking about doing it free in you know, this way. I don't know. I will let you know. Cool. So we have this bound to these bonds and we have root bond for this effect. So what's going to happen is those sparks will be coming out from the Mjolnir and hitting the ground. Let me move it here. Welcome to, oh, you have, we have new support. Let me check on the YouTube. Let's see if we have or no. I don't, I'm not experienced in YouTube's chat. So let's see what we got here. Yes, we have three people right now. Welcome children of internet. Childer in the internet. Thank you for support. Uh, it's not like money stuff, but it's kind of stuff that I feel that I'm on the right way. So I don't earn a lot in you from YouTube, like monthly 30 euros or that can cover my Adobe package. Okay. Thank you. So now I will put this here and we'll be able to control those bones easily. Let's first animate it. This is going to be a loop. And let's move it here. I think I will already removing them here. Yeah, like a, like a mentor, but with a much more uh, detailed feedback. So I'm doing it now with Armenian community, those similar stuff. So I take new guys and just um, give tasks once in a while. And but I was thinking it also in you know, doing it globally. So Armenian is easy for me. Oh God, we have a new subscriber. You make me blush. Let's check it again. Yes, we have. Thank you. If you slow VFX. I've been doing streaming all day and night. <laughs> I think streams uh, themselves are promoting. Okay, let's let's finish this. So cool. When it appears, we just need to position where we want it to be. Let's assume it starts here and it moves here. Cool. So I will hit control one and save those, uh, those bones under control one. So I'm going to work with them. Cool. So now we have it moving the next frame. I will reposition it. Um, Next day, I will reposition it. Maybe we can do it from here or maybe here. I don't know. Here. Mm. 
maybe they both can move this way. Let's see. Okay, and one jumps back. This is very creative and fun process. I really love it. Jumps back while continues to move this way. And when it jumps back, it actually will follow through this line. Not not diagonally. Go this way, please. Cool. Okay, here we need to. What we need? Let's let's add one more big strike. Which would be uh, okay. Which would be from here to here. Let me actually scale them. Uh, I think I need to scale the root one. Cool. And now let's position it here. It's like hitting from the. Yeah. Um, let's move it here. I will leave it this uh, here uh, for now. I won't move it. But. Boom, it's moving here and then turning to this side. Um, boom. A little further, boom. Let's continue rotating or moving somewhere. And let's check it out. Boom, 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 boom. Cool. Now let's move it back and scale it back. Actually, I will for that add Control Shift J and we don't need this. We need uh, scaling back values. Cool. Now let's move it here and do some kind of logical stuff that would be looking nice and moving slowly down i'm doing it uh, as i go i think you would have your own vision of how it's it's gonna be done let also in this case glow it glow the hammer Hit key. Hits. I mean, very quick hits. And Let's wait for two frames and quickly do another hit, which would be here. Um, so it hits here and um, you know what, let, let me actually move it to the corner. And then it hits here, waits for two frames, Control Shift L, and it hits, I don't know, maybe here. Mm, yeah. Mm, what, what, well, where else it will hit? Okay, let's, let's do um, 
so it hits itself from the from here no i think we we, we don't have frames here no so we can go and quickly add some more frames and maybe maybe finish here okay let's see which one i don't like wow this big one i think it goes off Okay, let's. It, it's too much, not integrated. Let's just add additive effect. Yeah, now it looks much better. But right now, I don't see the Mjolnir itself talking to that effect because it's it's not getting lighted. Um, which which, I don't know. I I can go and add uh, this blur effect, but. Really, I don't want to make this video too much long. So we have this also glow, like blob of glow, I don't know. It's, it's very simple. So we can go and make it additive. And give it maybe a color. Now let's, let's see in animation. So it hits. Okay, now it appears. So let, let's move it here. Where is it? Ah, I need to show it. Okay. Let's reduce it a little bit. Okay, uh, so whenever it appears on the Mjolnir itself, I will add this glow. And here we don't need it. Uh, I hope this can at least somehow add that integration. Mm, but it's, it's not enough, you know, you need to make the hammer a little bit lighted. But too much stuff to do right now. So it hits here, it will move here. It will move here. Mm, let's move it here. Oh, we have two of them now, okay. Okay. I think it, it has to be here. Okay, okay, let's let's not do this. Um, 
cool so we could go and um drop mjolnir this way i think it would give much nicer look but right now i think after those uh, charges that I have added, it will be much harder to do, so... Yeah, but anyway, let's let it be this way. Boom. 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 Okay, so let's see. What final touches? Let me bring also this effect. It's, it's nothing, but I think it will give cool. Okay, nothing special, so I will resize it, bring it here. By the way, this effect had some, uh, originally it was butterfly-like, so it had also wings here. So I just cleaned it up in Photoshop. So you can take RTFX effects and just do whatever you want or draw over it and make your own modifications. And it's not supposed to use exactly as they are, so you can even take the fire stuff and add a blur or some kind of things to make it magic. It's, it's not supposed to be always fire. Okay, let's see. And remember that you can also um, animate them reversed. So some effects are totally changing the context when they are animating from reversed. I will try it with this. Yeah, I think that is cool. I think I have two bugs to report today. Well, one is not a bug, but rather that's something I wanted. I would love to be more explained here. So I could go add this when it explodes, but the initial thing that I wanted is was not this. But let me try on exploding stuff. Boom. Let me do it additive. And you know what? Let's actually put it back. So we add some kind of because at these frames there is very little there is no blue actually so this will add blue touch and it actually reveals the circle alone but now we can use the same effect and play it reverse check this out so this will initiate uh, the charges so it, it gathers some energy and boom charges come out but for that we will need to move it front here yeah boom charges let's see no i don't like it it goes too much down Maybe it can be here. No. But at least you get the idea. So it's it while here it explodes, here it, it behaves like some charging up energy. You can use them. You can even add another one and make a like X looking charge up. Mm, I'm thinking how can I fix this quickly? Mm. 
it goes by now. Sorry. He was asking if it's on Russian or no. Yes, da, da, stavlju. I don't know. Maybe I will leave it this way. I don't like the shape, uh, how triangle sh shape uh, overlaps on the square. I mean, it, it, it tries to explain something, but it's, it's not. Not doing good. No, I will. I think I will remove it, or at least put it back. No, it's not working there. I think I will leave it this, at least it, it has some kind of use and maybe move this glare effect after that. So it's like it charges from the, um, the sticker, uh, I don't know, handle, handler. And yeah, after that, when it reaches here, it will glow. So let's, let's move it this way and I will move it back to front. Yeah, I think the, it is made much more sense. Okay. So where are we at at the time? One forty minutes. I think I covered most of the stuff. Um, let me check the files that I have here. Um, we. Yeah, I think I, I also want to add this one. It's easy to add. And this is good technique I want to show. Basically, we, we use the same what, what we have already learned. But again, I'm creating um, mesh. We'll be using linked mesh. And moving those two vertices uh, in edit mode, moving those two vertices on the middle. And let's create this and exit this mode. And let's create linked mesh, duplicate it. Let's see how much we should. Explosion 11. Cool. Let's continue duplicating it up until 11. Select it, clean the create a bone. Now let's see. So basically I, I, I use this kind of circular explosions. Um, let me actually do the animation so you can see it. Uh, okay. Boom. Okay, so now let's create key to see it. Oh, let me move it here. Right away I will convert it to additive to match the style. You can see I added some magical explosions, but I cut it half. So 
I will use the same slot, but instead, this time I will just remove the mesh. Or maybe I will leave it, but um, change the points. So we, we, we can hit a reset here. It will reset to four point. Um, okay, now we can give some kind of perspective. Our magic circle is already dictating its perspective. It's it's in in, in is isometric, I think. So it's not getting shortened at the end, but we will do this way so you can see that it's possible to achieve also this kind of way. Okay, now we I will put it here and move it back. Let's move it back right behind uh, Mjolnir. Here is it. I will scale it, move it wherever I want. Note that I am creating a deform key, but we'll be back to it in a moment. So also this explosion will rebuild the circle. You see that. Boom, and circle is revealed. And you can see that with one explosion, we created some kind of 3D stuff, explosion. Now check this out, boom. One is half and the other is in perspective. So this is a trick. And after we have matched it perfectly, we can go select all corners um, select that same corners and paste it. Did I copy it? I just want to avoid using this blue key. I think we missed the order. It shouldn't be wrong, but yeah, now it's good. So now we can just remove this. Boom. No, it's doing too much. Let me resize it here. Um, yeah, I like it. So now that the skeleton is done, I would go and polish everything. So it's not the final. I, I don't see me doing it here, but I will tell you what I would do actually. So I would first go and add this cloth animation. Uh, I would go and add a little bit shaking to the hammer on the direction up and down. So the, in the direction where it moves, it comes and a little bit shaking. It's not like this, but this. This is how I do. I don't know. You can do the, the other way. Okay, so what next I would do? Yeah, I would add another glow here on the other side. And I think I would go and try fix the rays. They are totally not working. Uh, the, only the first portion of it actually works. But after that, they just confuse. So maybe it's too bright here. 
let's reduce it. Uh, the lines are too thick. Um, the color is off. So everything is, is not looking cool right now with this. So I would try to remake it maybe or use other stuff. Maybe we can make it smaller. Yeah, this makes much more sense. But these lines are not that thick anymore. And So the thing is that the teleport shoots the ray, uh, the P frost, yeah, the, the stuff that shoots this ray. This ray is actually has much more colors than just yellow. So I would maybe uh, duplicate this, change the color, flip it, and add a little bit more reddish or purplish. So to to achieve some kind of rainbow effect. Okay, we have ten minutes left. I think I will close this stream with. Uh, another effect uh, I'm just thinking of effects that will teach you something so I could go and add this race but it's it's nothing new for you um, while this burst maybe can teach you something I don't know let me actually try it oh yeah and I should also export it so let me quickly do this I will okay mesh it generate and duplicate okay, the linked mesh duplicate it a bunch of times I'm always forgetting the number and going back before duplicating or creating you need to put it to first frame so it starts the count correctly 19 Select all, select all, clean it. Now what I would do, uh, without even creating bones, just do it quickly. So I would add it here. Um, let's leave it here. Let's add the boom frames. Maybe a loop. Oh god. This bug is disturbing me. Okay, let me add the additive. And now that we have this animation, you can see that. So this is pure animation from frames. Uh, we can go and give the shape of anything. So I could go and maybe move it down a little bit. And let's do some manual work.
Okay. Now I will select all frames, come here, select that, past it here. Come on. Select, save it under control one, come here. Let me do it again. Command one, uh, control one, and why it's not selecting? I don't know. Yeah, it works now. Okay, now we just need to remove this. So this way you give it to flow over some surface. And it totally doesn't look as it was previously, like in in the. In the uh, original sequence. And I think we don't need the other loop. We will let close it here. So it charges up and we, we are losing the glare effect here, which is pretty nice. And let's, let's move it. So effect appears and only now it glares. Okay. So what would I also do? I would maybe come here and separate those um, things and make them glow so the hammer itself is um, in more integrated and yeah we have five more minutes which I will use to export it and let's see what we, we, we are working with and how would I actually uh, optimize it cool No, where is it? Okay, now let's see. And let's see where is the hammer and what we could optimize. You can see that we definitely can go and reduce those uh, lightnings like five times, I think, or four. Um, maybe I would remove this effect at all. It takes too much space or I could go and cut it uh in half like symmetric half so i can then uh, blend them together okay i have smokes and you can see that the last effect i added is very small here so but it didn't look um, low quality so you can compare to that and see how small those effects can be actually and even this ring can be much much smaller so i'm pretty sure i could uh, fit everything inside uh, 1,000, I think, I could do that, yeah. But this hammer is big too, so definitely in uh, in 2K uh, texture, I would definitely fit them all. I just don't want to spend time here. Uh, there are some frames that you can remove, for example, um, frames from the race, they are uh, repetitive, and I think we can, we could go some six frames and find a loop where where it actually doesn't look bad um, what else? maybe i would also add a background to make it you know, look cooler but but that's it yes
that's it. So I will be adding this effect, uh, this project to downloadable page. So you can download, I will add the link, but obviously you can't use any of this stuff anywhere. So those effects are under the license. You can take them and use anywhere. Um, and yeah, nothing here is usable. So just play with it, just make your own stuff. And what else I can say you, I have no questions left unasked, answered, right? Yo, hello, Avik. Not that um, Um, what I have to say you about yeah thank you for watching and today we have two channel supporters which I'm very happy to see um, and I think those uh, those supporting will direct me and the channel to understand better where to go because right now I am creating streams which is much easy for me. I just sit and talk two hours. It's it's much easier, believe me, than creating um, polished video. It it takes, I think, ten hours to create them and a lot of time to think about and prepare the projects and like mental energy. So creating streams is easy for me. It harms the channel because it's not getting too much views, and you know it's. It's not, but I see that at least people are more supportive here because it, it itself gets advertised. So I'm a little bit confused right now. I will later maybe come up with another video and saying where the channel directs itself, what, I ha what plans I have with it. Uh, I don't know. So right now I'm just playing with it. I don't earn any money. Whatever I earn, this stays there. I don't know where to use it. So, thank you for watching and maybe subscribe to see more polls I've created in the channels and to participate for the future content. Bye guys.